Boys be honest, what you not tell girls about sex? There is no more dick left with which to go deeper. That while they're trying to come we are trying our hardest not to come. Her, oh god and a. Him, 1 13 13. 2 13 or 26. 3 13 or 39. The spirit is willing but the flesh is spongy and bruised. My only concern is making you sure you come at least once and that I don't come so quickly that it's embarrassing. Try communicating, some of us come pretty fast and actually prefer shorter sex. You say that, but absolutely no woman wants 100% of their sexual encounters to be less than 30 seconds each. That I'm praying I don't get cramps. That I'm starting to cramp, but I'm also about to finish so I'm gonna keep going. Then realizing that the cramps are distracting me from finishing, but if I stop, the cramps win. Magnesium supplements my dude. I had that happen during sex once, one of the worst of my life too, right on the back of my thigh and it was so intense I couldn't make my legs straighten out. Never again. Not finishing too early is something we think about way too much during the deed. I think it's closer to about half and half. Half of men are worried about coming too early, the other half are worried about not coming at all. SSRIs have entered the chat. I can handle faster faster, slower slower, and even harder harder, but deeper deeper is a problem. That just means don't pull out as far, and grind more. As a comedian once said, I can do faster, and I can do harder, but if you want deeper, you'd better get ready for philosophy. That I like foreplay too. I understand that most of the time, it takes a bit more effort to get a woman off, but that doesn't mean I don't like my body being explored as well. And I mean more than just focusing on my dick and balls. Kiss my neck, kiss my ribs. Put your hands on my thighs and hips. Trail your fingers down my spine. Make me feel like you can't wait to know every inch of me. One time I was on top of my then boyfriend making out, who thought moaning was for chicks and never did. I was kissing his neck and at that moment of pressure between when just the tip becomes we're doing it, I bit his neck, and the sound he made will echo in my memory forever. He was cussing with his jaw clenched and I had never heard him ever make a sound he didn't mean to make in life ever lmao. He acted like I pulled Excalibur out the stone and embarrassed he moaned at the same time. I was kind of shocked at how one rice worth of foreplay affected him so much and suddenly realized how little women are conditioned to think men want to be seduced for their pleasure and not just as a sign that you're DTF. Seduction doesn't just mean look hot so you can feel wanted by him. But be hot and want him too. Sometimes if they use cheap toilet paper, they have those little toilet paper crumbs on their pussy. We blow them off or smack them off before we start licking. Credit Big J Okerson. Clitty Litter. Sometimes when you pull me up while going down on you I feel you gave up on me trying to please you. Tell me what or where I need to pay attention to. Instructions won't be a turn off. When I do that it's because I need your dick right now. The world champion of pussy eating wouldn't even do it for me. I need that D. Edit, this got a lot of attention. Ladies, verbally communicate this desire, the look on his face is worth it I promise. Guys, orgasm isn't always the goal, sometimes feeling you slide in is all we want in the world. Sometimes, we're just not going to come. It doesn't mean that we're not into you. You're definitely got us turned on and we're all about it. Why? Maybe we got gassy farts and trying not to let it out. Maybe we just jerked off earlier that day not thinking we'd be having sex later. Maybe we drank too much that night. There are a lot of reasons as to why it might not happen. Or antidepressants. So true. I was getting the greatest BJ I had ever received and I was about to finish, but couldn't. It was like my body tiptoed right up to the finish line, but suddenly refused to finish. It was so unbelievably disappointing. Needless to say she was pissed. I had to take her multiple times that it was the antidepressants. It would be nice to not have to initiate always. And not just asking if we're DTF but laying the groundwork down. I've spent our whole relationship essentially being Danny from Ocean's Eleven planning our love life. Sometimes I do things fucking days in advance in the hopes that the vault is ready to be robbed when heist time rolls around. God I would love to be the vault every now and then. This is so true. Usually she tries to make me initiate and on the rare occasion she does initiate it's usually because I purposefully didn't take the hint and then goes something like I would like some sex please. She or meaning almost every woman I've been with. Someone in her past convinced her that she gives amazing blowjobs. They're okay. April 10th. I'll never tell her that, though. 
As a woman myself, I would really like to be told if I did a bad job and mostly why so I can try to get better. If I'm doing a blowjob you better like it or else I am losing my time so feedback please. A lot of men are afraid to tell you their kinks because they think you'll judge them and make fun of them. Sometimes that's the kink. Don't be embarrassed by sounds or bodily functions, shit happens and it's more often funny than a mood killer. Once had a guy I was with say honestly I am fine with literally any body fluid that comes out as long as it was on accident and let me tell you the sex we had was the weirdest, best sex of my life due in part to me just being so comfortable with him. Go AP shit my man, you sign the waiver. Sex isn't about actual sex, is about feeling desired. Yep. I finally learned how to separate my desire for validation and feeling wanted with feeling horny. Holy shit did my desire to date and fuck around fall. Not worth the effort when it usually doesn't give me what I want anyways. Sometimes we just want to be held, and cuddled, and get head pats. That is really starting to become more important the older I get. Fucking you super hard makes my dick go soft it's way too much exertion and blood starts going to other parts of the body. After a heart attack and open heart surgery at age 34, I'm now 37 I feel this dude's statement to my core. I just plainly don't have it in me anymore. Weird place for me to say this but I'm glad you're still with us. I lost some very good people at about that age from heart attacks. I last a long time because of my antidepressants. A vast majority of the time sex becomes boring for me after about 10 to 15 minutes but I keep going because they seem like they want me to and I don't want to be rude. That was my experience when I was on antidepressants as well. It was kind of nice when they thought I was some kind of sexy times rock star but honestly it felt a little like a chore because the sensation just wasn't that great and I would usually consider myself done when they were. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe please.